Hello Tauruses, so this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. So universe, this is her energy between Taurus and the person that will be on Taurus mind. King of Swords, okay? So some of you guys are cutting someone off, detaching, not caring about the situation anymore. Let's see here. So universe, the person that will be on Taurus mind, what would this person like to say to Taurus? Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this person is trying to match your energy, trying to show you that they don't care. And probably they will like they will probably mention that like they're not too caught up. Like it like whatever you want to do, they're fine with it. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Universe, the person that will be on Taurus line. What would this person keep headed from Taurus? Queen of Swords in reverse. This is someone who's a liar. Okay, they was lying heavily. You see what else I'm getting? Universe, the person that will be on Taurus line. How would this person feel about Taurus? Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like with them, even though they may feel like they probably gonna say, okay, they're okay of you ending things, walking away, whatever. I feel like they they feel like things are not really going to be done between you and them, okay? Universe, the person that will be on Taurus mind, how will this person feel about Taurus? Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like they still can... They, they feel like they still, there's still an opportunity for you guys to work things out. It's just this week. It's not the week, okay? Universe, the person that will be on Taurus mind, what intentions, what intentions does this person have with Taurus? emperor and the four swords i feel like it's more so like not changing not compromising like my way it's or the highway or not like listening to you okay universe the person that will be on taurus mind what action will this person take with taurus five of pentacles yeah so i feel like with this this week they're gonna just try to match your energy trying to sh appear um, like they don't really care, okay? But in reality, they feel like in the future, there will be opportunity for you guys to reconnect or to fix things, okay? It's just right now, they trying to show that they like get more control, they have they have more power, okay? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Universe, clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Universe, clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ten of Cups. Universe, clarify the Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they just, om they're not admitting to the truth, like they're omitting, okay? Universe cover the Eight of Wands. Let's see what it is about though. Universe cover the Eight of Wands. Okay. Got Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, Three of Cups, Magician. It could be money. Probably finding out that this person's been spending money, but like the way that they're spending money, it doesn't make sense. It's like they're sending it to someone, okay? They might say it's for family. Universe cover the Ace of Pentacles nine of pentacles or this could be someone who's just acting very stingy okay so it could be a lot of ways i'm just seeing this is someone who's just not being real with you and you just had enough with it so you're just cutting off then i'm also seeing them trying to appear like they don't care okay this week they're trying to match your energy i see later they're gonna try to see if they can fix things okay but it's more so they're trying to appear like they the one that have more power or they have more control okay so this person's sign could be a fellow earth sign towards very capricorn there is some air to um i would say particularly aquarius could be gemini libra okay let's see what else i'm getting okay let's see like let's look here universe give me a three part spread of messages do you have four tourists universe give me a three part spread of messages do you have for tourists universe give me two more cards okay. 
the universe. We need to be first spread. We must have just see how for Taurus is. Universe, we need to be first spread. We must have just see how for Taurus is. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, so first position, um, there's January and chain. Chain events that will affect your life. Probably things have been rough between you and this person since January. This person could be Aquarius or Capricorn as well. Then there is, or this, whatever they are not admitting the truth, it could be something relating to since January, okay? Then there is Tiger dealing a relationship. I mean, it's a dealing a relationship. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance and flute, disappointment and a friend or lover, okay? Probably just you giving them the benefit of the doubt. And then towards spiritual love, development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And then there is sunrise, new creative ideals, new venture, fresh start. I feel like you guys are ready for this to be over. Then a general energy is broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a, pro um, to a problem. Then there is December. Okay, so you guys, again, it could be a Capricorn or Sagittarius. Um, what I'm getting here with that broken bridge and then that chain, like, I feel like whatever that had transpired, it changes everything now. And a lot of you guys just want to completely cut this person off and start completely new. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So, let's look at the other dogs. Okay, so universe, we have three parts, but I don't to just see you have four. Oh, okay. Universe, give me two more cards. I must just see you have four horses. So there is another ending story, TikTok. Universe, give me one more card. What message do you have for Tauruses? Treasure Island. Okay, this card wanna come out too. Bless. You know that there's better in store for you than to hold on to this. There's unfinished sympathy, symphony, and then there is never ending story. So it's crazy. It does feel like cycles. So you start with like a never ending story and then here is like unfinished symphony. So you just you feel like you're wasting your time. That's what I'm getting here. But you know that it's better in store for you. So let's see. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Tauruses? Universe, give me a three card spread. The Emperor. Universe, give me two more cards. So this could be someone you have a child with, okay? Probably you guys are co parenting, okay? Or probably this is someone that you was going to divorce um and this person keeps solving the divorce or you're trying to make things work but they're not willing to change so there is emperor the patience the tower the disruption and transformation which i believe is the death card oh these are all major arcanas yeah so you're ready for something to be over with okay um, you try to be very patient with them, but it's like you had enough. Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Tauruses? Okay, so there is Queen of Wands, High Priestess of Fire. Then there's Confidence. Universe, give me one more card. Then there is Forbidden and Playful. Yeah, I feel like you guys are, don't want to be wasting your time when it comes to this connection, relationship, situation. Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Tauruses? So there is the Shadows of Two. This could be a Karmic. The Chariot. But you ready to move on. I feel like you got the lesson. That's what it is. Universe, give me one more card. What message do you have for Taurus? It could be the lesson is like not giving people a lot of chances or more than one. <laughs> okay. Universe is going to happen. What message do you have for Tauruses? So money, opportunity, Gemini, and Virgo. Ooh, okay. The message I got is money talk because Gemini and Virgo rule Mercury. Mercury is all about communication thoughts. Okay, your focus, your focus on bettering yourself, on your money, your goals, your career. Okay, but also I feel like you're ready for a new person to enter your life that is going to be a great person for you. Okay. Um, 
So there is never ending story, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. This is someone who always wants to be with you, but they can't, like they're not they're not doing what's necessary to keep you. Okay. Then there's TikTok patience. Okay. So you really was trying to be patient with this person, but you feel like time is running like time. Like you're not being patient, like you're you're done being patient with them, okay? And then there's confidence. I feel like you're sure about this. You're gonna make this final decision. And then there is Treasure Island, Tower, and Forbidden. Some of you guys wanna block this person or move, okay, or really like finalize a divorce. Then there is um Bless Unfinished Symphony. This card actually come together with this position. So you may feel like you're better off once you close this thing out. Unfinished Symphony. Then there's the death card and playful. Yeah, you ready for some fresh new energy? You're open to being in a new relationship too, okay? I don't feel like you are scarred. Like, yes, you probably need to heal from certain things, but you still believe in love, okay? So if you don't, which I'd say if this is resonating, this is not love. It's probably more based on codependency. So you should not give up on love when what you experienced was not love. So let's look here. the capper deck and then i'm gonna go to the all signs i'm gonna be starting with aries okay all right so there's sudden wealth Ooh, so many cards <laughs> so there is official person high honor Ooh. house an occupation you might meet the new person at work or a new which whatever you're going to be doing new this could be a business partner for you then there's impressment universe clarify impressment i feel like this is more so stagnation and it could be the stagnation is because you were still connected to this person that you're getting tired of universe clarify um imprisonment accusation but you know better is in store so yeah i was just trying to say yeah you just need to really cut off loose um, ties with someone Okay, let's look at all signs. Okay, so universe, what's going to happen between Taurus and Aries? So there is the Queen, I said the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, okay. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Aries. Okay, so there is barrels. You feel like something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. I feel like it's more so stability. This connection could just be very superficial, even though it's intense. Okay, it might be superficial. Okay, universe is going to happen with Taurus and Aries. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Aries. So there is. Tank tar, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah, like it's it's superficial like death. So let's look at um Taurus and Taurus. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Taurus and Taurus. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Taurus. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Taurus. Ooh, okay. So there's a the moon and a two of cups. So I feel like this person. They have deep feelings for you, but probably they're really stubborn, okay? They're being the stereotypical course, and they're unwilling to change or compromise or, or see your um, your your perception, okay? Ego, trumpet over troubles and obstacles. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Taurus. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Taurus. Gong and assigning events. Ooh, okay. Some of you guys might get pregnant by this person. That's what I'm saying. Universe clarifier gong. Like, yeah, cheer filled. Someone new is into your life. Yeah, I'm getting pregnancy. And then breath, sorrow over loss. Also, I'm getting here. Even though there is deep feelings. But if this person is not willing to change, you're willing to start a new chapter without this person, okay? And that will be their loss. 
So let's look at um, Gemini. All right, so universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Gemini? So we've got Page of Pentacles that want to come out in a weird position, more facing reverse. So um, this is someone who is trying to get your attention, trying to apologize to you, but this is someone who's not sincere. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Gemini. October, they might try to appear this week or by the end of October. Okay. So, okay. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Gemini. So there is older woman dealing a relationship with older woman. I feel like it's more so you, you already know what it is to know about them. Okay. So let's look at Cancer. Okay, so universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Cancer? So there is Ace of Wands, came out again. Let's see. Universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Cancer? What's going to happen with Taurus and Cancer? Universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Cancer? So there is door opportunities are waiting for you. Ooh, okay, it's a new cancer. Now I did cancer reading. It's really like a new love is coming their way and it's really the one. So like the one that they will spend a long time with, possibly get married. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Cancer. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Cancer. So there is older man dealing a relationship with older man. So this person could be older than you if you are feminine. If you are masculine that's watching this, then you will be the older person. But I do see a new cancer coming into your life. Um, there's potential here. If this, if you click on this part for old cancer, I feel like we're trying to say is like get ready for new love. Okay, some of you guys have cancer in your chart. If you do, definitely watch the cancer reading. Then there is um, grapes, time to go out and have fun. Yep, dark man. So this person might be of a darker complexion. Dealing or a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair and an arrow, you on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. Beautiful. So let's look at um, Leo. Okay. Oh, I feel that wrong. Whatever. <laughs> Let me do it this way. So Leo. I put like the, because this deck, the tea, tea leaf deck, it have two sets, but sometimes like I like to, sometimes by accident I put it in the wrong set, <laughs> that's okay. So let's look at Leo. I said two sets, I have one set, <laughs> it just have two pals. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Leo? we got Six of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who's expecting things will go their way and it's not, okay? I feel like you guys had enough. You don't, this is someone who want your attention as well. Woman dealing with a relationship with a woman, okay? You also may feel like the dynamic is really imbalanced. Like if you were feminine watching this and this person Supposedly supposed to be the masculine. They don't act like the masculine. They act very feminine. Or let's just say you are the masculine that's watching this, and you're. Di this is a feminine, but this is someone who's not acting like the feminine. They're more acting like a masculine. Universe is going to happen with um, Taurus and Leo. Bag something important such as new job or race. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to be focusing on this or even caring about this anymore because it's not important. You focusing on your goals. Let's look at. Um, Virgo. All right, so universe is going to happen with Taurus and Virgo. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Virgo. So there is world in reverse. So the Virgo feel like there's unfinished business. Things are not done. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Virgo. So there is Coins, money will be coming to you. Okay. 
universe is going to happen with Taurus and Virgo. Okay, broken wishbone, yeah. Wish would not be granted. And also, what you guys may feel, um, when you deal with them, things just don't work, you don't mesh, and it also affect your other sectors of your life, okay? Especially your money, okay? So let's look at um, Libra. Right. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Libra. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Libra. Ace of Cups. Okay. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Libra. So there is cobweb protection from negative forces beyond your control. Okay. So you guys, your divine person is your is a Libra. Okay. And um, this is a, a connection that is protected, that will be protected. The universe is going to happen with Taurus and Libra. The universe is going to happen with Taurus and Libra. Gone, gonna sign an event. Yeah, so I also got random message. It's probably not gonna point a lot, but if you're from the Miami area, Wynwood, you might meet them at Wynwood. Wynwood is like an art district. It's like a little Haiti area too. Um, so this person probably like art or they come from upbringing that's like probably didn't have the most beautiful childhood like probably their parents was kind of poor or their childhood was like that so yeah but i feel like this is someone who is vibrant they like art and that makes sense because libra is like a very creative sign okay but yeah that's what i'm getting i see a new libra coming into your life if you click on this part pertaining to old libra you're trying to say forget about the old libra I see a new person who might be another Libra, <laughs> okay? But this is going to be someone who's going to be very vibrant, light art, okay? Creative stuff. So let's look um, at Scorpio. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Taurus and Scorpio. Universe is going to happen with Taurus Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. Um, this Scorpio is waiting on you. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Scorpio. Okay, so there is staff you be taking care of in difficult times. Probably this is someone who you was there for when they was going through something, but when you was going through something, there was nowhere to be found, and now they're going through stuff, and now they're remembering like how you was there and how they want your help, okay? Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And August, this person probably tried to get in contact with, get in contact with you since August. They're gonna try again this Libra season. Scales, keep your life in balance. This is someone who's not balanced at all, especially financially. Let's look at um, Sagittarius. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Taurus and Sagittarius. So there is the temperance. That's their energy, interesting, ironic. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Sagittarius. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Sagittarius. So there's pineapple reconciliation. So I feel like the Sag wants to reconnect with you. Right now, I feel like they're becoming more level-headed being more patient as well. Probably they was really, <laughs> I like to say hot booty. Probably they was hot booty. Final peer frustration lessons to be learned. Yeah, they learned their lesson. I feel like they're more, much better. And I don't feel like this is only French. I mean, only um, romantic. It could be a, a friend, okay? So let's look at um, Capricorn. The okay, universe is going to happen with Taurus and Capricorn. Ace of Wands, it came out again. So it came out for... It came out for Aries, Cancer, and then it came out for Capricorn. Except, so all the cardinal signs came out for this card, but except for Libra, okay? So with the Capricorn, there is Mountain's major challenge to overcome. Okay. Universe is going to happen with Taurus and Capricorn. What's going to happen with Taurus and Capricorn? So the older man, okay, this is someone who's very stubborn, dealing relationship with an older man, could be older than you, but they're very stubborn, 
and that's for the major challenge to overcome okay they have to work on themselves if they want this brand new beginning with you so let's look at um aquarius okay so universe is going to happen with taurus and aquarius two of cups now this person have deep feelings for you universe is going to happen with taurus and aquarius Cain, pay attention to your health. But this person has been causing you to stress or they've been affecting you. Universe is going to happen. Breath sober of a loss. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be choosing you, putting you first. And they're going to be feeling very emotional. So if this person has been putting you through hell and back, they're going to feel that way once you're done and over with them. Okay. So let's look at Pisces. All right, universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Pisces? Ooh, got the Queen of Swords in the right. So this is a big liar. They also don't listen as well. All right, universe, what's going to happen with Taurus and Pisces? What's going to happen with Taurus and Pisces? Okay. So there is carriage or journey, either physical or men mental. Then there is peacock, beware of great pride. Okay. They will have a lot of ego. Universe is going to happen, of course. And Pisces, November, and Campbell, preserving you will overcome your problems. I see you walking away. And by November, you're going to be completely emotionally detached. Not detached, but emotionally process things where you're healed or in the process of being, like, completely healed from this. Okay? So that's what I'm getting. So that's the reading that I have for you, Tauruses. Thank you guys for watching my videos.